So, hello, my name is Adam Frewer. I'm from Rawsome Living. So, it's basically a new kind of raw foods veganism type YouTube channel that I've set up with a couple of friends of mine. Um, it's basically just uh, about promoting the healthy raw food lifestyle, 80 10 10, spreading the message out there my own unique way. So, I, I use a lot of extreme sports, acrobatics, and conditioning, and just take a different approach to it, which will hopefully inspire people of all ages, the younger generation. Just get people really interested in health, which is what I'm all about. So I'm 22 years old and I live in England. Great, Adam. Great to have you on here. Thank you for uh, great. joining us yeah, today. Yeah, to Kevin. Thank you for doing this. Yes, yeah, great, great interview. Uh, we're quite interested. How did you uh, discover 801010 in the first place, and why why okay. did it appeal to you? Well, it was actually through my my quest for health and fitness. I mean, I actually wanted to to start my journey as a, a vegan because I, it was basically I didn't ever plan to go vegan just by listening to my body and t letting my, my body and my in intuition take control it ended up ended up being vegan I ended up finding less and less animal products that felt, felt better for me until I was completely vegan so for a while I was a higher fat percentage vegan but then looking towards nature as I do because I'm quite I'm quite like a naturist like I like I like to look towards nature for guidance you know look what all the other animals are doing look what we should be doing and by looking there I found well 80-10-10 just makes sense in all in all ways and then I spoke to my friend Oris who was actually I helped become vegan but he quite quickly discovered the 80-10-10 diet himself and he then introduced me to Dr. Doug Graham's work and I read the book 80-10-10 which was great because it kind of double, doubly confirmed what I was kind of already going towards with the nature approach looking at the gorillas looking at the you know, the elephants, the rhinos, all these really strong animals that are eating very low fat percentage, just high high carb diet and I really think that's the way to go. Thank you. That's great. And uh, how long have you been into the uh, parkour and I guess you, what, what do you call it? Free running? What, what's your term? In yeah, I mean there's, there's a variety of names for it. I mean I, I just call it movement because I don't like to fit in any certain category. I do a variety of things so I actually have a martial arts background. So uh, from the age of 11 up until about the age of 16, 17, so five or six years, I was um, doing the Taekwondo, so I actually achieved my black belt in that, I was teaching that for a while. The gymnastics type stuff, well I've actually never done gymnastics, so it's all the acrobatics, it's all self-taught, so I actually taught myself out in grass with some friends. Um, so the parkour, probably about seven years, although I was on and off through injury before I became a vegan which is why it kind of encouraged me to look towards health and fitness and learn about the healthier lifestyle because I was breaking bones left, right and center. And I actually had a very a diet very high in dairy, animal products, and it was just crazy. I actually broke my legs so badly that they told me I'd never do any extreme sports again. In fact, I'd never be able to live a point in my life without chronic pain in my leg. It was that bad a break. Um, so this is what encouraged me to turn to the vegan lifestyle and now 80-10-10, and I have no repercussions at all, no aches or pains or anything. But of course I would also advise anyone looking to get into free running and parkour to do so in a safe way, learn about spotting techniques, learn about you know the ways to do it safely with the mats or foam pits, trampolines and get some coaching. But you know most of all just have fun with it, whatever you do, just move your body, enjoy life, live, love, learn. Great, great advice about the parkour. I have uh, learned from experience that, yeah, it's better to practice yeah. on a soft mat. Really? <laughs> you notice the improvement in your in your leg, in your, the healing of your leg. Did you notice any other significant health benefits or fitness oh, benefits? Totally, yeah. I, I mean, I, I just reached higher levels of health, recovery, strength, performance, leanness that I never even perceived as being possible. Like, literally, before going on diet, I had no idea what true health felt like. I just didn't know, you know, what it was, what it was like to recover so quickly, to never wake up and have aches and pains. I mean, doing the stuff I do, you think I'd have sort of aches in my knees or something, like nothing. Before, I was doing less extreme stuff, and I'd be aching all the time. It takes so long to recover. I'd be constipated, which didn't help as well, trying to flip around with like an extra, you know, a couple of kilos sat in your colon from like chicken or whatever. I mean, it's, it's nonsense, I think. Like, I think this is really the future for sports, you know, the 80-10-10 diet. Stay light, recover faster, be stronger, have that harder, dense muscle, which is really going to give you a good, like, boom, like, impact, which is what you want for your sports. So, 
totally just every every aspect, mental, physical, it's just a whole other level. I'm actually happy now. I had no idea how down and depressed I really felt eating all these foods, which just keep you kind of locked down. It's a whole other story, and that gets quite deep, the mental, uh, spiritual aspect of that as well. But until you try it and it's, you experience it, you can't really talk about it, but from personal experience and seeing loads of others helping others myself as well on my channel and in person, I can just say it just takes you to a whole other level, mind, body and spirit, and just lifts you up and unites people really, really well too, which is awesome. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Do you have any, any advice for those who are just coming into the 80-10-10 style of life? Yeah, I mean, just bear with it, you know, um, just try, try do your research, Go to those that really know what they're talking about with it. Uh, listen to everyone. Follow none exactly. Um, just basically, just try, try your own things. I've learned myself that 80-10-10 raw is without a doubt the optimal diet for health and human potential when you have an abundance of fresh fruits and vegetables. But even 80-10-10 is is much better than a 100% raw, high-fat diet, I believe, and from what I've tried myself. So, you know, in the absence of, you know, top quality fruit, just get the carbs in, carb up, keep the fats and the proteins and salts and things like that to a minimal and you're just going to feel so much better. So, yeah, basically just enjoy it, I think, because people can get too too worked up about about their diet, like, oh, what you can and can't eat. Of course, vegan, because that's the natural diet for human beings, and I believe that is the bare minimum. But after it's vegan, that's on you, and it's up to you to then take your approach and do exactly what you want for yourself. Some people want the optimal health, optimal way of living. Some people just want a, a cruelty-free lifestyle and to get by, which is cool too. But to feel better and to do the best for people around you, the family, like being part of a good community, being high spirits, I think 8 to 10, 10, 100% of the way, really boost your mood, make it, all your systems run clear, like smooth, and all your functions is going to be so much better. I, mean, I really do believe that macronutrient ratio there 80% carbohydrates, 10% fats, 10% protein, or even 95.5 is like so optimal, and that's exactly what we're designed to eat. And I can't see myself eating any other way if I was like put out in a jungle or something like that. Which, you know, it just really makes sense from the science is there, the common sense is there, everything's there. It's just putting one one and one together equals two, doesn't it? So, and that's 80 cents in my my opinion. Yeah, the more and more you learn about it, the more simplistic the reasons become. Yeah, yeah, people say it's complicated, but for me it's just simplifying it. It's just keeping food for what it is. It's an energy source and you, you can learn to love it so much more. Just learn to love the feeling it gives you rather than, you know, the, you know that this almost chemical satisfaction of a, it's like a, a drug hit almost when you, you go onto some other foods. But when you learn the, the, the lasting satisfaction of eating a diet which is high, en high energizing, you, you just never go back. So I really, I really encourage people to stick with it, learn, learn about the processes of detoxification, learn what your body might go through after so many years of eating a certain way, adjusting to this diet, so you know not to blame the diet if you start having uh, spots initially as your body flushes out all the toxins it releases through the years of uh, dietary abuse, that kind of thing. So just learn your body, learn to what to expect and stick with it, have fun. You know, get some get some friends involved if you can. Get on get on the forums online and uh, talk to people. So that's that's my Great best advice. advice. Yeah. Um, any advice for those who uh, want to get into parkour or free running? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I'd say pretty much just to to try and do it safely. I mean, I didn't myself, but I've got to encourage that. You know, because uh, I did break a lot of bones. I think I've broken nine bones. And, uh, <laughs> you know, so definitely on a soft floor, I mean, uh, you can learn flips on, on a trampoline with a mat, and you can take the mat from the trampoline to pick up the ground, and then you can take the mat away and do it on the ground. So you can build up build up to doing it slowly, but just start small. Don't, don't try and copy the, the people on, the, on the, the TV and stuff that jump in the roof gaps. Keep it ground level. Like, you're just doing it for yourself. You should just do it for fun. And it should be an expression of art and control over your body. Control is a really important one. I mean, no one wants to see someone like flinging something off a high building and like just hope to land it. I mean, it's all about the fluidity, the creativity, being able to express yourself through the movement, which is what I really love about parkour. Because it's not, it's not so much like gymnastics where you've got to do everything perfect. 
I mean, there's no right or wrong in how you move. You just move how you feel. You know, and when you combine this with, this is what I've kind of got my unique selling point, if you like, because I'm combining it with the good food and the, you know, the natural way of living as well. It's basically just like a monkey swinging in the tree, isn't it? You just play and you have fun. And it's, it's just, it's amazing. So I, I really just recommend going out there, giving it a go, you know. Don't be so worried about fitting into society standards if you jump from a wall to a curb or something. Don't worry about the people looking at you and like, and thinking what you're up to. I mean, if anything, that's going to actually encourage them. It's going to plant seeds in people's minds to be creative, to learn, to just think outside the box, which I think which is what this world really needs to move forward. We can't be so worried about fitting into society standards and everything like that. We've just got to express ourselves. I'm with you on that, Adam. Uh, yeah. Where can people connect further with you? Where would you like them to... Well, the, I say YouTube is the primary place, so that's Rawson, uh, YouTube slash Rawson Living One. Uh, also, we have a website, so that's uh, www.rawson-living.com, and we have a Facebook page, Rawson Living, as well. So, or you could even add me, my own personal address, Adam Crew, on Facebook as well if you'd like to stay in touch. That's cool. Great, Adam. Yeah, thanks so much for the, taking the time, Kevin. It's been, no, it's been thank great. you, man. I appreciate getting to know you a little better, brother. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep in touch. Certainly.